Hello once again everyone. Time to get back into our project that we're doing, the game project. We've taken our models from Blender and imported them into Game Studio. Now it's time to actually fire up the world editor in Game Studio and start putting our objects where they need to be. So let's go ahead and get Game Studio fired up. And now switch the screen over. There we go. So here's the world editor. We want to make a new world. And we need to bring in our objects. So for that, we need to import from MDL files. And uh, once again, let me keep from giving away anything I'm working on until I'm ready to give it away. All right, here we go again. There we go. So we want the ones that are have SZD after them. And we'll just go ahead and import them one at a time. We want the mesh and the skin. Um, going to say everything's okay. Yep, that looks fine. And you see everything is loaded into the root, which is the way it should be. So we got one file brought in. Let's bring in another. Import from MDL. Just leave everything the same. And need to pull one out of the other here, so let's move one of them back. Everything's looking okay here. Yeah. Come on, camera. There we go. Just get it zoomed in somewhat so we can verify that the textures and everything is loading properly. And again, we've got one model, then we've got the other one loaded into the root. And everything gets loaded into the root. So if I wanted to add in just a basic cube, you see there it is loaded into the root. There is the cube over here. We will be doing this later, but right now we're just bringing in our pre-built models. So let's import the next one. The door. And the uh, Loaded the wrong, I was going to load the wrong one in. We want the sized. And for some reason, they have English on this button, and I think that's German for cancel. So we just need to hit OK and bring it in. And oh. That's a bit small, isn't it? So we need to scale this one up again. Let's do that in the model editor. Uh, again, we want to make sure everything is done in as 
easy a process as we can. So let's open up the door sized. And I'm going to say that we should probably go double, or no, triple. Yeah, probably triple. So let's object scale global. We're just going to do it by a scale factor of three. And we're going to go ahead and save it back into the world editor. We can delete that object and import the sized one again. And if I'm right, this will be large enough. Oh, still not large enough. Okay, we need to take it up a little bit more, so... Let's see... Probably by a factor of... One and a half. Let's try that. See, and this is where you just got to finagle with things until they look right. So we will try one and a half. Save it over into the world editor. Import the model again. Well, we are slowly getting there, but we still need to bring it up a little bit. So we go ahead and remove this. And over here, get it selected, scale global. We'll go to five. Save it back into the world editor. Reload the model in. Okay, I believe. Yes, that will do it. Finally. So now we've got our two characters and the door. Uh, let's get the characters in line and we'll pull the door back as well. All right, time to load in the next model. And this one will be the, um, we should probably go ahead and do the tower because the lock mechanism kind of needs the tower to be the right size first. So go ahead and load it in. And of course it needs to go up probably by a similar factor to the door. Don't really remember what we did on that, but we will we will just play around with the tower until we get the right size. All right, let's get this selected first. And 
scale global. We did it by a factor of three for the first one. So we'll go three, save it, and then wasn't it a factor I want to say by two, but let, let's uh, load it in again and just see where we're at. So load in the tower again. And this time we get, oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Still need it to be a bit bigger though. If one of the characters is supposed to be trapped in that box, they're going to have some problems staying within the bounds. So let's scale it up by a factor of two, I think is what we did. Or no, it was 1.5 and then 1.25, wasn't it? That's what it was. That's what it was. So there. And 1.25. All right, save it. Load it in again. And the way to tell if this everything is right is going to be if things line up with that door. Looks like it will. Of course, we're going to have to probably turn snapping off, but for now, we're not going to worry with that. We have the second piece brought in. It's been sized appropriately for the tower structure. So let's just slide the door over first, and then we will grab the tower and slide it over as well. There we go. And we can grab one of our characters here and just slide them in. And we see that they do fit within the confines. Of the little cavity there, the room that we built on it. Now let's move the character back though. Oh, yeah, I should probably have uh, one of the other modes turned on here, shouldn't I? Uh, 
There we go. Now we can do what we need. It, get to work with me on this. It's been a while. But it is still a worthwhile bit of software. So now we're going to import the next model, which is going to be the lock. And of course, this is going to need to be sized up. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's, uh, where are we here? Ah, there it is. There it is. So that needs to max out, probably to the same scale factor as everything else. So let's go ahead and open it up. So we want the scale factor of 3.75. It's going to be a factor of 3 plus a factor of 1.5 plus a factor of 1.25. You don't add in the 1s. is the ones are just saying that the file is not getting any smaller. Okay, that's a little bit bigger. Still needs to get bigger than well, compared to one of the characters, let's see. Because that's what we need to, yeah, it needs to come up a little bit more. So, let's grab it again. And. Uh, we'll go by a factor of 1.5 again. And part of the problem I just realized is that the model is not centered on the origin. And this, it doesn't really matter because nothing on this one is moving. But that should do it. So let's bring the new one in. And there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, that's big enough. Okay, so it looks like next time we're doing the tokens, getting those brought in. Ooh. Let's save our game map. There we go. And I'll see all of you next time. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, uh, right here, let's move my head over, there we go, right here is going to be a, another video uh, in the future for the next in this particular series. And over 
here is going to be the previous video in this series, along with a subscribe button down below it. So feel free to give that a hit and uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and let's see, oh yeah, be sure to leave a comment. I'd appreciate knowing what your thoughts are. Until the next one, everyone.